All right, so for my shirt, I'm going to make a tank top. So I've also drawn in lines on the front for where I'm going to cut off some extra fabric for the tank top. And so I'm just going to trim this down a little bit so that it cuts in like a tank top would. So I'm going to cut that off there. And I'm going to cut this off on this side. Now, there's two ways to put the shirts or the clothing on. You can tape them on this way and that way. Or if something is not really fitting, you can take your clothes, make them and cut them in half and put them on in a different way. So I made a vest and I'm going to be putting the vest on that way. So what I mean is you see how I made the two halves? What I would do is take them and put one on this side and then one on from this side. And then when I have them in place, I would tape them back together again so that then what I did to put them on is hidden. So that's also an option is if something's not really working out, you can always make it in halves cut it in half and then slide it on both sides of the body and then tape it back together again. So for to put it on the actual body, I'm going to take some small pieces of tape and tape the two shoulder parts together here on this side and then another piece of tape on this side. And this is going to act as going over the shoulders so that it'll kind of hold it in place for me as I'm putting the shirt on the actual figure. So I'm just going to slide it over the head and move it down. After that, hopefully you made your shirt wide enough so that you can fit it on. And I'm going to need another piece of tape for the two sides. So I'm going to take this piece of tape here and tape my two sides together. If you already watched the pants video, you're familiar with this. And if it's not actually fitting and it's you didn't leave enough space, what you can do is um, cut a rectangle and put it underneath this area and to make it a little bit longer. So you see how that fits on right there? All right, so I would do that on both sides. Actually, I need to do one more step. I want the end of the shirt to look like it's kind of beat up or like it's torn. So now I'm going to put my shirt back together again. on the side there so that's together take my other piece of tape and fit that together on that side now if you're ending up like I have a little too much fabric here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a little bit of a fold in the back like a triangle fold and take some of this and pleat it down. My final piece is going to hide that for me so it'll be okay. If this is going to be your top layer, you may want to make sure it's a whole lot prettier. 
I'm going to take that and put that together there. And then fold that tape over on the front right there. So my front looks really good. My back, I'm going to have to work on. So you, but you see here how I have a shirt on my figure. I need to cut this up a little bit more because it's hiding what I did with the belt. I could decide that later. And basically now my shirt is on my figure. And from here, what you're going to do is take your pieces of tape and clean up and hide the paper that you have. So at this step, this is remember how you're gonna add in your craftsmanship and we're gonna think about how you're layering these pieces on and what it's going to look like as a final piece. So on the front of my shirt here, I'm just gonna take pieces of tape and layer and layer and layer and layer. 